Welcome to our estate sale preview this week. This week we are about five miles north of Piedmont and we've got a whole lot of stuff to show you so there's probably going to be three or four different videos so just keep an eye out. We're going to start with the cars. This is a flatbed Ford. Really pretty cool. Uh, this, this house is like on a big farm so they have a lot of farm equipment, a lot of stuff. Next thing we're selling is this 92 Mitsubishi. It's a Mitsubishi Montero Sport. Uh, when these came out, these were very popular. I actually had one when I was younger. Uh, we have a wonderful hot tub, you know, as you can tell here. Uh, it's got to go. If anybody needs a hot tub, it's going to probably be free. Next thing on our list is it's a Datsun. This is one of the original 240Zs. And this is a 70. Either, no, it's a 71 uh, 240Z. We've got a pair of these tractors. They're identical, or almost identical. They're both 1948s, they believe. Uh, both 1948s, uh, Fords, and they might both be Fords. Then we have a Troy Belt riding lawnmower. We're selling this Econoline. This is a uh, 1990 Escape, um, Escaper Ultrasport uh, RV. The one sitting next to it that we're selling is a 1984. It's a Her Herita or Herita or Heritage. I'm sorry. It's a 1984 Heritage RV. This one doesn't run, however. You know, as you know from motorhomes, you can actually use a lot of parts off of these if you need the parts off of it. Uh, actually, a lot of people, if you live in the country, sometimes you can park these out on acreage or behind people's houses and actually use them as like a little cabin. So it's a real inexpensive way of getting a little cabin. We're also selling this four-wheeler. And the little tractor right there. We've got... This is a 2001 Dodge Ram 150. It is a V8 Magnum engine. Now we're going to go over on this side. And we've got an 82 Harley Davidson. I'm going to kind of pull the cover off. This was parked in the garage. Pretty cool looking. If you need a day, if you need a motorcycle, um, it was last tagged a couple of years ago. They said it was actually running up to a couple of years ago, and I think that they were doing some carburetor work on it. But it's a '94, or sorry, '84. Really kind of a really kind of nice bike, and we have a small push mower. We're gonna hop over, and we've got a 1991 Corvette. Uh, I believe it has the removable one-piece top, so it makes it like a carry top model. We've got a lot of tools. A lot of them aren't out yet because it's about to rain, but starting here we've got tools on the table, and we have fishing rods. And I believe that we're going to be selling this flat trailer as soon as we dump the trash off of it. I believe that's going to be for sale. And then over here we have BMW motorcycle. I believe that this is, I don't have the actual uh, model written down. I believe this is late 80s or mid 90s BMW. And kind of out here we've got lots of patio furniture. We've got, this is a RV, or not an RV, this is a motorcycle lift so that you can jack up a motorcycle and move it all over your shop. We have lots of uh, hydraulic lift, hydraulic jacks, uh, car stands, air tanks, more jacks, ladders. We have at least three different appliance dollies, some car creepers. We have a high power washer. Uh, more stuff will work truck, another floor jack. We're going to go into the garage and like I said there's tons of tools. 
We've got a small paint tank compressor. We have a jump box. We've got lots of little power drills. Then lower, we've got chainsaws. Tons and tons and tons of chemicals and cleaners. Uh, we have a router with all these little storage cabinets and tons of little bitty tiny toolboxes. Uh, we've emptied most of them out. I mean, there's, so there's tons of tools in here. There's some rifle scopes. Okay, over here we've got tools, or more tools, I should say. You know, more power drills, uh, lots of storage containers with screws and nuts and that type of stuff, a Dremel, electric stapler, Craftsman, uh, huge uh, sander, uh, little tiny miter box saw, re-threading kits, uh, we have a couple of grinders, actually three or four different grinders, battery chargers, uh, pneumatic nail guns, Over here, we're selling these metal storage cabinets and workbenches, a lot more hand tools. We have a small drill press, some big grease guns, and another router, a small table saw, and a big chop saw. We're selling this uh, big little miniature rototiller. Tons more chemicals, another little power miter box saw, more drills, more sanders. Have a ton of car refrigerant, tons of this 134A. I mean, there's probably 20 different models of that. Over here, they have an electric chainsaw, two electric chainsaws, a gas chainsaw. Our two gas chainsaws, we have uh, electric trimmers, hammers, screwdrivers. All sorts of little bit kits. Pretty much from here down, these are all bullets or bullet making equipment or empty shells for making bullets. And there's also a room inside that also has tons of bullets in it. We've got a commercial paint sprayer and a little small chest freezer. Over here we've got um, huge heavy duty wheels, level. We've got a lot more tools, uh, obviously impact drivers, uh, sockets. There is boxes of screwdrivers, boxes of wrenches, boxes of pliers. I mean it's a ton of stuff. Here, another uh, tool chest. We've got a gas powered auger, so if you're going to dig some fence, fence posts, be really handy. Uh, big acetylene torch and cutting torch uh, kit. Another big metal uh, storage cabinet, lots of grease guns, uh, drills, tons of extension cords, and here we have a huge um, grinder built up on the stand. We've got two welders back here, and small little generator, nether welder, and this big tool chest, and there's another tool chest right behind it that we're also going to be selling. And we're going to take a little sneak peek kind of out there. We're selling the aqua patio and the engine off the aqua patio. It's all aluminum, uh, has a hole in one of the tanks, but you know, even scrap value at 75 cents a pound for all the little aluminum, that thing's got a ton of scrap, but it would actually probably be serviceable. The engine on it's supposed to run, so we might be selling the engine separate. I have to talk it over with the heirs. And this is one boat. We still have another boat, a couple more cars, and a couple more tractors to show you, and the next video for the barn that's in back. So make sure you look at all the videos. Like I said, there's going to be several. And I will see you on our next video.